After the major North Sea floods in Belgium, a flood defense plan was conceived to protect the Flemish part of the Schelt estuary against future storm surges called the Sigma Plan. It's governed by Waterwegen and Zeekanaal, a Flemish government agency, and aims to combine flood defense with strengthening the river's ecology through the creation of flood control areas. A pilot project was set up in the Vlassenbroek polder, involving the construction of a compartment dike of a flood control area using dredged material from the river Schelt without intermediate storage between the dredging and the dike construction process. These works were carried out in the framework of the European PRISMA partnership. An innovative design to dredge, transport and reuse the dredged material to construct the compartment dike is developed by Jan de Nul Group. The sediments are mechanically dredged over a distance of 2.5 km along the Schelt River using a backhoe dredger. During mechanical dredging, material is cut and retrieved in a bucket. The material is dredged at in situ density, which eliminates a dewatering step further on in the process. The dredged material is placed in barges alongside the backhoe dredger. Tidal ranges of more than 5 meters and high currents interfered with the dredged operations. The loaded barges are transported by means of powerful push tugs over a distance of 35 kilometers to the unloading area located in Vlassenbroek, Dendermonde. Once properly moored, the barge load and sediment quality are determined by means of a barge survey. The unloading platform is designed to unload, screen and transport the arrived sediments. The uploading is done by a long-reach transshipment crane mounted on a spud pontoon. The crane places the sediments into a vibrating screen which extracts the large debris. After screening, the sediments fall into a dispenser which is connected to two high-density pumps. These pumps push the sediments under high pressure into a 600-meter-long pipeline towards the shore-based mixing unit. Once pushed through the pipeline, the sediments arrive in large plowshare mixers. A premix of additives is accurately dosed and mixed with the sediments. When the mixture reaches the outlet of the mixer, it's transformed into a homogeneous mass called engineered sediments. The engineered sediments fall into large hoppers before being loaded into dump trucks. These trucks transport the material to the dike construction area located 500 meters further into the polder. The engineered sediments are first placed in a reception area. Immediately thereafter, excavators spread the material in half-meter thick layers between temporary bunds. The material starts hardening in place and, as soon as the desired strength is reached, new temporary bunds are made and a subsequent layer of engineered sediments can be placed on top of the previous layer. This methodology is applied until the design height of the dike is reached. Once the compartment dike has reached the design height, it's profiled using a low-impact bulldozer equipped with accurate GPS instrumentation. A quality assurance and quality control plan was in place to ensure that the design requirements were met through the execution of the project. In situ hydraulic conductivity was measured by means of the double ring infiltrometer. The undrained shear strength was regularly monitored at different depths by means of hand vane measurements. To validate the field tests, undisturbed samples were taken and sent to an accredited laboratory for further testing. Jan de Nul Group was able to develop an innovative process to turn unsuitable sediments into viable construction material within days and with minimal handling. The high-tech work methodology encompasses dredging, transporting, processing and reusing the dredged material as engineered sediments. The applied technique opens the door for a new approach in the application of fine sediments in large-scale infrastructure works.